when I see people helping us with the house tomorrow, it'll be a mixture. It'll be hard to see because this is our home. But it'll be good because um, it's a beginning to something. My name is Randy O'Quinn. I live here in Baker, Louisiana. My family and I are, are victims of the flood of August 2016. Uh, we had 31 inches of water in our house. We, I'm living on my property, but I'm in a FEMA trailer that uh, was brought here back in December of 2016, where we've been ever since. 98% complete in restoring our house and moving back in. But we'll put that kind of to the back burner right now. We're going to be engaged in the uh, efforts to help the people in Beaumont, Texas. You know it's really early, right? Well, yeah, we kind of... <laughs> All right, uh, it's supposed to be asleep, uh, but in my beauty room. So, at 4.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, and we're uh, loading up. I'm getting excited, I'm starting to get Wait, the adrenaline's starting to pump and I'm ready to go. Yep, I'm ready to go. Head them up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Alright guys. Hook them up. There's only so much you can do, but we picked up everything that we could. We put the important items into the attic, and that didn't even matter because we lost things in the attic because the water got that high. Our entire ceiling collapsed. During the peak of the flood, we were able to bring a boat out here with a friend and dock our boat on our roof. It was just completely surreal unimaginable and very unexpected. This house is just brick and walls, but inside it's, it's so much more because you'll see scriptures from the last remodel that we did after we flooded. You'll see that written on our studs. You'll see my children's handprints. You'll see their drawings. It's not just stuff. These, this is our home, and again, we are homeless, again. I want them to feel like I did. When the Yellow Shirts left my home, it was like the burdens were lifted. I didn't have to, there was no more suffering. We went from tears of sadness to tears of joy. You meet the homeowner. You want to befriend them. You want to love them. You want to shake their hands. You want to hug them. You want to do everything to make them feel like things are going to be okay. These guys came and cleaned up my entire house that I, I was too much of a man to ask for, so my wife had to. And they cleaned this entire house in about a day. 
all together. And I would have been here months just trying to pick up the pieces and clean what I could. The amount of stress that is lifted off of me is insane. This is my house now and we're just going to rebuild from here. And it's all uphill from here because that was a lot of downhill for a long time. It's amazing how you can look at something and not really know what you're doing and all of a sudden it's just it's like walking into this house. You see, man, this is going to be a lot of work. I don't know where to start. All of a sudden, the front room is empty. Where'd it go? You know, that just makes me feel like our efforts here were very positive. We've made someone very happy. Seeing the love and the help. Strangers coming from other states. It's important to see the love because you feel like you're alone, but you know you're not.